Meantime, the strongest storm in the world so far this year has brought destruction to the U.S. island territory of Guam. Look at that. Typhoon Mawar is the most intense cyclone in decades to make a direct hit on Guam. President Joe Biden has approved an emergency declaration, and the storm has flipped cars. Look at all of the debris just scattered about. Also, tons of flooding has been going on. 98 percent of the island is without power. All right, the storm is, is back to a super storm, super typhoon. Uh, and once those winds are 150 miles per hour or greater, it gets that category. And look how massive it is. it is. You can see the island of Guam there just on the right side of your screen. Boy, this storm was going right toward it, made a quick turn up to the north, and then went around Guam, which really helped out. Here's what we have when we look at what's been going on with the latest information. We continue. There's the track right there. Look how quickly it was going. And then it just made that turn, which was great because it kind of helped out in a sense. And I know Guam still got hit pretty hard, but nonetheless, quite a change. So with the the latest information coming in, and look at that massive eye still intact and continues to intensify as it moves up to the north. When we continue to watch this over the next several days, look at those strong storm tops. The brighter the colors near the center of the eyes, right where all that energy is, plenty of towering energy going up, given those, those thunderstorms and really energizing the storm. Those outer bands continue to circle right around the center of the storm, and they extend quite a distance. When you look at the track, it looks like it holds pretty tight uh, as it heads over to Taiwan, eventually starting to lose some of its energy. It starts to move into some cooler waters. Nonetheless, it is still massive, and those outer bands will be a major concern. A lot of the remnants of that, by the way, will be picked up by the jet and then carried on over into portions of the Pacific, not in this form, of course, but we will see plenty of rain off of this. So the forecast as we look ahead to what's been going on, we still have uh, more in the way of the heavy rain headed over toward Taiwan. And look at that curve. It's going to make up to the north and northwest as we go into, say, Tuesday, Kindle of next week. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.